Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure to be here to talk to you a little bit about what we do in Autolive um, towards autonomous drive. Um, we, um, in Autolive, we are the worldwide leading company in automotive safety. We have a 60 years history going back to uh, early 50s, starting with seatbelts. Since uh, 20 years ago, we have built up a quite extensive electronics uh, capability. And we are also today among the leading uh, companies towards autonomous drive coming from the safety aspect. Walking the show here today, very, it's very exciting to see the different mega trends that is out there. Clearly, you see the trends in terms of uh, new mobility, you see the, the trend of autonomous towards autonomous drive and electrical powertrain. But when we talk about new mobility, for instance, and we talk about all these changes, we are so excited, we say that this is the biggest change in the automotive history. But changes has happened before. Look to new mobility and look to this page. It's fascinating. This is a picture from Fifth Avenue in year 1900. Can you see the car? Well, there it is. If you look 13 years later only, another Easter day in Fifth Avenue, this is the picture. Can you see the horse? Well, there it is. So changes happens only when the infrastructure and when people are ready. So are consumers ready today for the change of these mega trends that we're seeing today? Yes, surveys shows that consumers are ready. Is the technology ready? Yes, we can see here in the show demonstrations on level four. We can see cars being launched on level three. So technology is ready. But there is more to be done for all of us that are in this industry to save lives. Autolive is here to do two things. We are here to save lives and to create value. And for us to save more lives, the best tool to do that is to use the road towards autonomous drive. But the road to autonomous drive also put demands on comfort and convenience. Consumers also want to spend more time in the car for something else but just sitting there or just driving. When you do that and when you look to the technology evolution that is happening, what is key is the robustness and reliability and trust. I think there is no doubt that we trust the brake pedal. The car, we don't even think about that the car wouldn't stop if you push the brake pedal. We don't think that the seatbelt wouldn't work if we would run into something. How many of you have a blind spot detection in your car? Do you look over your shoulder when changing the lanes or do you trust your blind spot detection 100% all the time in your driving behavior? I think here is the key. The new technology have to have 100% reliability. It has to work all the time. It has to have the right quality and we as drivers and as users, we need to trust it. Like we trust the established technology as of today. And in fact, life-saving equipment that we have in the car, like airbags, are hopefully never used. But equipment for autonomous drive, driving the car, they are used every second, every minute when you drive the vehicle. So the demand on reliability of the products that we install in the vehicles towards autonomous drive is absolutely crucial. Doing this is almost impossible to do alone. Ecosystems are being formed, ecosystems consisting of different partners, different type of companies coming together to form the road towards autonomous drive. Here is an example of how it fits between actuators, between sensors, between software developers, between hardware developers. And all of these 
clusters are being formed today and will be formed and will dissolve and come together again in different shapes and forms. For us, in order to live, we have built a very clear road towards autonomous drive that we call the pyramid of technologies and functions. We have emphasized on what we think is our core competence to be able to save more lives. But we are also focusing quite a bit on collaborations, cooperations between companies and between ourselves to be able to build the reliable ecosystem we think is needed. The other thing that we in the industry, when we see the megatrends, have to bear in mind is the road towards L5 coming from level zero, level one, two, level three, and level four, five. We need to take this in a pace where technology can really show the reliability that is needed. If we can do that, we can save more lives and that the industry can prevent accidents from happening. But if we do this too fast, then we may risk to run into to unwanted situations and accidents that will scare people, that will scare consumers to use and to trust the technology. And then we may also lose years in this journey towards a safer traffic environment. Evolution is taking some time, and we believe that protection systems in the car will be there for a long period of time. Level zero today includes a certain level of protection system and occupant safety inside the compartments. But when we as car owners will be able to spend more time to talk to our, our friends in the car in a better way while we are sitting at the driver position, there will be other requirements also coming on passive safety. And this is actually leading to that also the occupant protection inside the vehicle will change with autonomous drive. We will face different geometries, different seating positions, and this will also put requirements on new products in the more established technologies. I started off with saying there is more to be done. We have made some research estimates that if we wouldn't do anything more than what we have today, we would go from what we heard Kurt talking about this morning, 1.3 million people being killed on the roads today to actually 2.4 million people being killed on the roads by 2040, approximately. But if we will pursue this journey towards autonomous drive, we will be able to save maybe 94% of all of this. We will be able to save almost 800,000, 2 million people in the different stages for being, uh, for being killed on the road and in the traffic environment. This is what we are fighting for in AutoLib. This is our journey. This is our mission to be able to save more lives. Our products save about 30,000 people's lives every year. Our vision is to save around 150,000 people's lives every year. We produce a million products every day for this purpose. That is what we are here to do. Thank you very much for listening.